Hello everyone, this is a glance at childhood obesity. The most common complication of obesity in pediatrics is depression and isolation. Ask your child if any bullying in school and observe your child for any signs of depression and isolation. Childhood obesity can be associated with obstructive sleep apnea, trouble sleeping, snoring. This can cause day somnolence and fatigue or the opposite hyperactive child or ADHD like symptoms. This can cause poor school performance and increasing in body weight. So correction of obstructive sleep apnea, the child will sleep better at night, will be more alert during the day, or the hyperactivity will be less during the day and will do well in school and will be easier to control the body weight. Also very important to know that nocturnal enuresis is strongly associated with obstructive sleep apnea. So correction of obstructive sleep apnea in many cases will correct and treat bedwetting or nocturnal enuresis. Other well-known complications associated with a childhood obesity, high cholesterol, especially triglycerides, fatty liver or deposits of fats in the liver, and this can cause impaired liver function, high blood pressure and early cardiac problems, a high insulin level and increasing insulin resistance and diabetes mellitus. Dark skin around the neck is because of increasing insulin resistance. It's a red flag of diabetes mellitus type 2. It is well known as acanthosis nigricans. Parents shop, kids eat. Instead of buying cakes and cookies, buy fruits and vegetables. Instead of buying red meats, buy fish and white meat. Instead of buying juices, buy water. Parents buy, kids eat. Parents cook and kids eat. Instead of fried food, broiled or grilled. Instead of fried potato, baked potato. Instead of margarine, extra virgin olive oil. Parents cook, kids eat. Screen time in general, less than two hours, maximum two hours per day in a children two years and above. This include TV, computers, iPad, smartphone, etc. No TV should be in bedrooms. Asking the child to do sports is not practical. Organize the sports at least one hour a day with a coach who can motivate the child. This is very important. If all family doing sports, this will be more successful. Very important to choose the sports your child like the most. Rapid weight loss is highly discouraged. Why? Because this can cause loss of lean body muscle mass and weakness. So weight loss when necessary should be gradual and should not exceed 1.5% of the total body weight or 1 to 2 pounds maximum per week. Recommendations a gradual weight loss, adequate nutrition and hydration. Maintaining body weight is sufficient can be successful on young children with obesity until they reach appropriate normal body mass index for their age as they become taller. Consult the doctor of your child for management of body weight and possible associated complications. This is the end. Thank you for listening. This video is only for educational purpose and not intended to direct the care of any specific patient. Please consult your physician or the physician of your child for the correct diagnosis and the proper treatment. None of my videos can be superior or an alternative for the opinion of an experienced and licensed healthcare professional. Thank you again.